Our protocol describes methods for efficient expression and purification of FAH domain-containing proteins, but also proteins in general. FHD protein 1 plays a regulatory role in the TCA cycle and the energy metabolism of mitochondria. We were able to associate FHD1 downregulation to cellular senescence, and information on enzyme activity and protein structure are generally required in order to understand molecular mechanisms behind observed phenotypes. The main advantage of expressing proteins via IPTG inducible vector systems is that all methods are relatively cheap and easy to establish in any laboratory. By using polyhistidine tagged proteins in combination with nickel NDA agarose resins, the immense selectivity of affinity chromatography may be employed at low cost. For most purposes, protein obtained at this quality may already suffice. FPLC, on the other hand, is a well-established and general method with several advantages compared to other methods. First, insert 5 to 10 nanograms of plasmid into 100 microliters of competent BL21 DE3P lyse S. E. coli bacteria on ice. Slightly tap the tube in order to mix the contents. Keep the bacteria on ice for 30 minutes, gently tapping the tube every few minutes. Heat a thermoshaker to 42 degrees Celsius. Place the tube containing the bacteria in the apparatus and heat for 90 seconds. Then, place the tube on ice immediately. After 5 to 10 minutes on ice, add 600 microliters of NCZYM medium and place the tube into a bacteria incubator. Shake the tube at medium.